Derek Kendall. Lovely shot. Top shot. New Zealand have 200 on the board. Lovely drive from Sewer, 203 for eight. So thanks to Murphy Sewer, New Zealand have survived to the fifth day of this test match. Murphy Sewer, 36 not out, his first runs in test cricket. Danny Morrison with him at the end, and Willie Watson still to come on the final day. A look at the England bowling figures reveal that Phil DeFratis has done the damage at the top of the order. Three for 57. Chris Lewis has got two wickets as well. Derek Pringle has won the important wicket of Ken Rutherford when he was looking so good. And there's been a couple also for the left arm spinner, Phil Tufnell. B. Sewer and Danny Morrison to continue, to continue. Willie Watson left to come. And England looking for a quick clean-up job here. So Richard Hadley and Jeff Boycott are in the studio with me briefly before play starts. Jeff Boycott. Here comes the freighters with Murphy Sewer placing. How long do you think it's going to take, Jeff? To be honest, I don't think it matters. I mean, if you'd have asked Graham Gooch and his players um, would they like to finish it this morning in five or ten minutes, you know, they said, listen, as long as we win, we're not worried. I mean, last night, eight down. They'd have settled for that at the start of the fourth inning. So whether they win it by lunchtime, tea time, as long as they win it, they don't care whether it's ten minutes this morning or an hour. Well, I think you can tell yourself that, but... Uh, They've been totally outplayed, really, by a much better and much more professional team. And when they're playing to their ability, their full capacity, we're with a good side, we're not the greatest in the world, but we're a good side, we led very well, we can be... Being put to rest today. I'd have to agree with you, mostly, Jeff. Um, but I think there was just one key session, wasn't it? And that was when Alan Lamb and Graham Gooch amassed that 142 runs in a, in a session that really turned the game. And put his faith in his pace bowlers, Phil De Freitas and Chris Lewis. Um, I think these two might stay in for a long time, but I don't see them uh, scoring any runs that are going to cause England any real flutters. Ooh. He shoulders arms in magnificent style at Murphy's sewer, but uh, coming round the wicket, he might just shoulder arms and find his off stump goes Evo. Yes, so we noticed there that it, uh, the ball's still going sideways and up and down, and uh, of course we're into the fifth day. The behaviour of this uh, pitch has been rather strange. If we look at recent history in Auckland, it's flattened out so much. It's been rather a boring pitch, hasn't it? But uh, one couldn't say that about this one. Well, that's right. It's put a uh, high premium on, on batting skills, hasn't it? play back they might have stress fractures of the shins yes. isn't it that's the other alternative oh he's out he's given out he didn't play a shot he fell down i suppose one could say he left it in a strange sort of way but uh, the end result is that murphy sewer is out lbw yes an extraordinary dismissal that but um I feared that, that the, the angle of delivery might cause him problems. Yeah, yes, he, was, he wasn't LBW, he was BBW, behind before wicket, wasn't he? <laughs> Absolutely splendid. So here we are, looking from side on. Murphy Sewer trying to avoid that delivery. It chased him from coming around the wicket, and in the end, he's out LBW. Not playing a shot, and the umpire says, you're out. That's Murphy Sewer out with New Zealand 203 for nine. Oh, he's gone for the big shot and got hold of it. There's no one out there. He didn't time it too well, but uh, he'll pick up a couple. So uh, Willie Watson underway. And that ends the over at 2.05 for nine. Lovely shot. Four runs for Danny Morrison. Just back with a square. And Danny Morrison goes into double figures with that boundary. Nice shot by Danny Morrison. He'll have time to get a couple. Nicely guided by Morrison. So 211 now for nine, and Danny Morrison is up to 12. Good shot. 
Good chase here for Pringle. They could almost run four here if they wanted to. But no, it'll be three. So Willie Watson has made a rollicking five now. That's 214 for nine. Appeal for LBW, appeal for running, it's out. So the test match is over. Danny Morrison has been run out by Alex Stewart. A very swift piece of work. And the test match is over. England have won it. And handshakes all round. And New Zealand are dismissed for 214. Yes, uh, Danny just overbalanced here. It was unfortunate. He, uh, there was an appeal for LB, which was turned down. He got forward, kept on coming, and Stewart, ever alert, had that ball and hit the stumps. And unfortunately for Danny, Danny hadn't recovered his ground. So a meritorious win for the England side. They've certainly outplayed New Zealand in this test match. And so Graham Gooch will lead his England side off. The victors in the second test, so they go 2-0 up in the series. And uh, the third test starts in Wellington on Thursday. So the New Zealand captain, Martin Crowe, as Graham Gooch goes into the New Zealand dressing room. Well, it looks to be a very good spirit between the two sides. It's tough out in the middle, but they're all mates off the field. Yes, well, that's an important part of the game too, Grant. You know, you, you compete out there, but uh, when it's over, I think a lot of this you've got to attribute to Gooch. He's created this atmosphere, and uh, he's certainly very happy with his side too. So the victorious England, England dressing room in a marvellous start to the summer for Graham Gooch. So some scenes of great jubilation in the England dressing room after the match. That's the first time New Zealand's been beaten in a home test series since 1979. So well played England, a thoroughly convincing and deserved victory here at Eden Park. Let's check the boards now for the full match. England sent into bat made 203, top scorer Derek Pringle. And the top New Zealand bowler in that England first innings was Chris Cairns with 6 for 52. Here's New Zealand's reply to the England first innings score. Martin Crowe, the top scorer with 45. Useful contributions from Rutherford and Patel. New Zealand all out 142. Of the England bowlers, Chris Lewis, the outstanding figures of 5 for 31. A first innings lead to England of 61 runs and they consolidated on that. Graham Gooch scored a century. Alan Lamb batted marvellously. So did Robin Smith. England all out for 321. And the New Zealand bowlers took a bit of hammer in that England second innings. Danny Morrison, two for 66. Two wickets also for Chris Cairns and Murphy Sewer. And New Zealand needed 383 runs to win. A disastrous start. Two wickets down, no runs on the board. They were seven for three. Some runs from Martin Crowe, from Ken Rutherford, and from Deepak Patel and Chris Cairns. And at the end, Murphy Sewer made a very useful contribution as well. But New Zealand were well beaten, falling 168 runs short of levelling the scores. Phil De Freitas, four for 62, two wickets for Lewis and also for Phil Tufnell, and one wicket for Derek Pringle. So England have won the match by 168 runs, and afterwards I spoke to the victorious captain, Graham Gooch. I was very happy to get 203 after we were, I think, 70 for five, and looking very precarious, and I suspect that New Zealand would be pretty disappointed they didn't bowl us out for less.